Welcome to the It's All Fine and Danji podcast, where hosts Dan and Angie talk with creatives, small business owners, charities, and all kinds of interesting people. It's all real talk. It's all fine and dangy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us this week for Angie's birthday week extravaganza oh should have some applause going in right here yes it is, has been an entire week of celebrating your birthday it has been definitely it's, it's been very fun in it's, fact i think it wore you out it did wear where it did wear me out <laughs> as you can tell i am a little bit under the weather today so i think it's just like a little bit of a sinusy kind of thing going on today and um but you know I'll get through it. Yes, indeed you will. And I'll get through this podcast with it. Thank you very I know. I was going to say, you are a trooper. <laughs> you are a trooper for doing this. Definitely a trooper for... The show must go on, I guess, right? Yes, the show must go on. And, and we're recording... What time is it? Well, it feels like it's about 9 o'clock at night. But S- since S- the time change, it's only 7. But we are waiting on our little piece of equipment to come to get our show recorded this evening. Yes, yes. And just a very brief update on that. Because I just want to put this disclaimer in here a couple times as we go through the next <laughs> few episodes. Um, we did get a new mixing board, new mics, new new equipment. I know the last episode was a little soft, so I'm still working on that. And then, of course, in my infinite wisdom, I said, oh, we need the next version up of this device. So I returned it, bought the next one, got it. Didn't, didn't fix the problem, returned it, and we got the original device back about an hour ago. So here we are. Yeah, so very exciting. So we've already had um, guests in the studio to record with it, and um, Dan did some switching around to some different kinds and came up with it. We like this one the best. And we so do. We like this one This is the one, one we're going to yeah, use. This is a good one. So, so yeah. So it's if a you... really cool, pretty board, like mixing board, too. It's got lots of colors. It looks very fancy. Interestingly enough, our last episode, I actually put together a YouTube sort of montage. So if you listen to us on YouTube, and some of you do, and I look, no judgment here. We're so happy that you're listening, but I don't ever listen to a podcast on YouTube. I only watch like videos on YouTube. So what I've started trying to do because we don't do the interviews anymore, the video of the interview is sometimes I'll put the slideshows in there or little clips. If we're talking about a, an event that we went to or a thing like that. And, uh, I think you, there's a picture that you took of this thing that's in there. I so did. last, I did. last week's episode, there's a pretty cool montage video while we're talking about everything. So yeah, anyways. And yes, of course, like it is my birthday week. Well, it is the, it is officially yesterday was the end of my birthday week. Let's, let's say that, but we're, we're going to chat about the things we've been up to since our last podcast interview here in the studio, which, um, will be released in December. Yep. Um, but I do want to talk about was somebody else's birthday on November 4th. Well, hold on before you do, you said our next interview. So for those of you listening, it's, it's going to be next week, right? Next week. I guess every, uh, every week we do a a, a, a podcast now and every other week it's a guest. So it's a guest and then it's us and then it's a guest. Oh yeah. So I'm ahead of myself because the guests we just had in, they are, because we're so booked kind of out, it's hard, it's, I'm always thinking it used to be we had somebody on and literally that Monday they were their show, their show. And yeah. that was stressful. <laughs> and it, it, it kind of weirds us out, too, because we're and look, I hope we don't sound like we're being like, oh, no, we're so booked up. But what what I think we're trying to say really is it's confusing because all of a sudden it'll be like, oh, the Monday episode just aired. And oh, yeah, we had that conversation three weeks ago. So it's I know, you know it's messing yeah, with us. It's a a, it, it is a little discombobulating. But next week. So next week. The 21st, I think it should be. The week before Thanksgiving, yes. Yep. So, or the week of Thanksgiving, right? Is that how that works? That's, we, we, I don't, we sound like a mess, but yes, it is, the, it is the week of Thanksgiving. My I, bad. I have a head cold. <laughs> no, it's okay? me. I'm, <laughs> I don't even have an excuse. It's me. <laughs> so, November 21st, um, it's going to be Chloe Barber. She's going to be on. And um, she was with the Southern. Wiener Dog Designs. Yes. And so it's all that cool um, handmade like um, Yetis and pens and all sorts of stuff she does with the, what is it she does it with? I am so out of it. Well, dude. we'll know in the interview because I can't, yeah, it's like a, some kind of a resin. Away. It's some it's kind like of a resin. resin. But yeah. Well, yeah, we won't give it away, but it's another young, young entrepreneur and we love it. Very yeah. cool. So anyway, back to I your thing. It. You said November 4th this week. So November 4th, I asked to take month. work off. Yes, you did. <laughs> and um, when they asked me why I wanted it off, I was very honest. I said, it's my baby's <laughs> birthday. And they're like, huh? And I'm like, my puppy. 
<laughs> so um, our puppy, November first is or November fourth is when she was born. Um, that's not when we got her, of course, but she was born November fourth. And I took the day off, and me and my bestie, Mindy Fox, went and took her to the beach for the very first time. I know. It was so I cool. Know. That footage was so cool. I wish I could have went. I had to work. But that, did have to go. She loved it. She it, absolutely loved I'm it. I'm telling you, the first time she went, you're probably happy you stayed home because it was exhausting because our dog loves water. And as soon as she saw that water, she took off running. And she has to be on a leash at, yep. this, at the one in New Smyrna. And so I ran up and down the beach in the water, and all of you who've done that knows how hard it is, for probably 20 minutes solid. She ran up and down and up and down and up and down and in the waves. And so I was exhausted by the time the first 20 minutes of being at the beach. So, But she loved it, and that that beach was so clean and so nice down there. I'm like, uh, this is the beach I want to hang out with or hang out at. Even just when anytime. I just go by myself. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to go again. And also, there's another dog beach we want to take her to. In like Venice. Oh, that, is that Ven- what it is? Venice Beach, I think, is where And it that's is. the one. They can let you, you can let them off the leash? Off the leash there. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. So, but yeah, that day we saw dolphins and jellyfish and starfish and, or sea stars, whatever they call them now. Anyway, it was a good time. Yeah, that's awesome. And then we were really corny pet parents and we did a little, a little cake for her and a little party for her and let her open presents and stuff that night. And you even dressed her up for her birthday. I, sure we're the, did. We, I keep saying it, but we're definitely those people now. There's a lot of those people. So we are part of the club now and we I am so happy to club. be part of the club. Yeah. And then after that, we did on November the 5th, we did a, I actually did another book event, which I haven't done in a long time, but many of you know, for those of the, you that don't, I also write novels. They are thriller, kind of supernatural type um, novels. I'm actually hopefully closing in. I'm finishing my third one by the end of the year. Here, going to take some time off in December to do that. I actually made Dan put on his calendar every Saturday and Sunday morning. He has to take at least two hours for himself to write Yes. Write, write his book. And I thank you for that. And I did that this weekend. I did it yesterday and today. And I love kind of get my brain back into it regularly. But we went to something called Sci Fi Pop Fest in Eustis mm-hmm. on the Eustis Fairgrounds on November the 5th. This was like a almost like our own little local Comic Con. Yeah. And it really was. It was really cool. And it was really neat that they put such a such a cool thing together with the vendors and all that. Having said that, I think what uh, either it was the event or it's just not the crowd for my books because I've done really well at like art festivals and yeah. uh, Altamont and an Apopka, but I, I did not do well at this one. I mean, I met a lot of cool people. Um, yeah, a lot, you know. a lot of cool vendors, just cool people. We got a lot of cool pictures yeah. and stuff. But yeah, I think like more of the kind of craft artsy fairs are more the, the group more my genre yeah, yeah because a lot of You're people gonna find your fit you know exactly and we, we had to try it because yeah you know a lot of it's it's like darker type stuff that i write so a lot mm-hmm. of the people that you know the crowd or, or the audience i guess for my book crowd yeah the, crowd. <laughs> the audience <laughs> yeah but but it's been it's you know that you know when i've done like those sessions of writing sessions they'll tell you you need to picture your perfect uh um client or whatever and it ranges in age from like teenagers Your avatars right what they that's what they it, call yeah. it it's like teenagers to to older people and it is mostly women but mm-hmm. i think that may be the case for for a lot of fiction readers, novels yeah. in general um but yeah i just wasn't really i don't think it was quite that crowd or at yeah. least not that event but we had a great time anyway we did of course yeah, of we took the puppy to puppy do- uh, daycare uh, draw, well, she came and helped us set up and break down, but yeah. it, she got to go play with all the she, pups. She the helps day. us do stuff like that. Yeah. She, like, just like she helped me take the uh-huh. Halloween she decorations down. Yeah. That's right. And I do want to let everybody know, if you live local to um, like Mount Dora, Eustis area, yeah. I mean, we live in Apopka, but I work in Eustis. Uh, we take her to the Green Canine in Mount Dora is her little puppy daycare yeah. place. And it is an amazing facility. So if you're looking for a good puppy daycare, guys, Green K9 is um, a really, really good one. That's the one that has the camera too, isn't it? Yeah, they have oh, a puppy cool. cam so you can check in on your little pup and, and see if they're playing. But enough about the puppy. Enough about the puppy. Let's hey, look, get and, to look, me. Angie <laughs> says that as if she's not going to start talking about the puppy again I before this one's over. I probably will talk about the puppy <laughs> again before the end of the show. That's right. But anyway, November 6th started like my birthday week. Yep. Now, 
I normally don't do celebrate birthday weeks. I did this in honor of one of my lifers, as I like to call her, Megan Ward, who yes. passed away last year. Yes. And I said, you know what? In true Megan Ward fashion, I am going to celebrate my birthday all week. She definitely did that. And and I love that you I love that did. you picked up that tradition this year. Although, you know, I think she started getting, you know, a little cray cray and doing like her birthday month. Why not? <laughs> Why not, though? She did. Especially, you know. I can't do the whole month. I'll do the week, Megan. I'll do the week. Well, yeah. yeah. And and so we started it. You know, we talk a lot about Tornators, the Italian restaurant in town. But I surprised Angie with a, I guess it's sort of like a tasting event. And I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Do you know how to pronounce it? No, I don't. Let's try. You try it. Let's see how badly we can pronounce. This is the name of the event where you go. Basically, it's at the Emerald Lagazi Tasting House, or what's it called? It's the Foundation Kitchen House and Culinary Garden. Okay. It's a big, long name, but it is a super cool place, like it, in the Winter Park area. It really mm-hmm. is. And the event is called Dolce Farniente. Okay. Dolce Variente. Something like Ooh, that. Oh, that it, sounded fancy. It means the sweet art of relaxing, but it's seven courses, a charcuterie table. I probably said that word wrong, too. A bottomless sangria bar, uh, food to take home if you want, and you can bring your own wine. You so, said seven course meal, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did I say? I think I said yeah, that. Yeah, it, it was a lot of food, and it was great because um, uh, Tornator's head chef, Jason Wolf yep. did the cooking, you know. Entree the Giant. Entree the Giant, as yes. they like to call him. Um, he had prepared the courses for us. And yes. It was so nice because, you know, they just describe it. And and it's like this big family style type event where everybody's sitting at, you don't know these people. You're sitting at a table next to them and yeah. you're just conversing and, sh- you know, talking about the wines that you're drinking and just enjoying the food together and seeing what people like, what people don't like. I mean, you know, we eat, we eat everything. So <laughs> everything that came on our plate was gone. But um, yeah, it was quite delicious, I must say. And it was kind of nice to try things that maybe I hadn't tried before at the actual restaurant. Yeah, so for me they too. do things up a little different for this. But it's so. it's a it's a very social event where you're like sitting at, at the table with other people and you're um you know you're you you kind of converse and talk about what everybody thinks of the food and stuff. So it's very cool. It's a very it was a very fun thing and I'm glad you were surprised because you never are. Yeah, uh, but I did have a dream. Didn't I wake up that that morning or the morning before and I said, "Did you tell me what the surprise is for my birthday?" You did. This actually happened. And Seriously happened. He told me no. I had the most vivid dream that you told me we were going to this type of event. Yeah. And and so and, but, I kind of knew. knew. <laughs> she she even said, "Do you want me to tell you where I dreamed that you're taking me?" And I said, "No, no, no," because I won't be able to keep a straight face or whatever. <laughs> And sure enough, that's where she dreamed I was taking was, her. So that was pretty cool. I mean, that dream was so vivid. I mean, I really thought we just had the conversation when I was like half asleep or something. Well, when you're dreaming about the food, you know it's good food. Ooh, and it really right. was good food. That's right. So they, yeah, check out the Tornators um, page because they are having some more events that are coming up there. I think the next one they have is like doing a wine pairing with the seven course meal. So they're really stepping up the game, baby. Oh, it's, it, it is. And just one more quick plug for the restaurant because, you know, we, we've talked about this, but we went there a few weeks ago for the sort of sneak preview opening of the fine dining experience at their actual restaurant, which is a different location in College Park. That's Tornator's Restaurant. Um, and, oh, my, you got to get in there. It's one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Well, let's just let's just keep piggybacking off of talking about Tornator's. So um, last Tuesday... We had our episode, the second episode of Denny's podcast come out, and yes. we joined him on the podcast. That's right. And so Denny Tornator does, and has been doing for a long time, what, maybe six months or so, a podcast called, it was called Denny and Maria Eat the World. Mm-hmm. And now it's, it's. I think Denny and Maria aren't together anymore, so it's now called Denny Tornator Eats the World. It's a different podcast. But if you wanted to sort of get an idea of what it's about because he's only got a couple episodes out now, you know, Denny and Marie eat the world is still out there as a podcast, but what, what he does is he'll go to different restaurants and he'll, 
you know, mem- remember everything he's eaten, take pictures of the menu, take pictures of the food, take notes, and then critique the restaurant and all the food in great detail from the perspective of a restaurant owner, of a chef, of a sommelier for wine. And it's really cool. It's a, a really foodie. Yeah, yeah. From a foodie, yeah. Yeah, so we joined them at um, the chef's table. So that's what we were reviewing at that time. Yeah. And, and we do love that we do love that he loved one of our favorite restaurants, the chef's table. Yeah, I did. And, and you know, Denny is going to be brutally honest, which mm-hmm. is one of the things you really will love about that show because you know, it, if he doesn't like the restaurant or whatever, he'll tell you it wasn't very good. I don't know if they had an off night. And it gives you, you know, you know, he's not being sponsored. Yeah. It's the truth of where you want to go. And so I had some apprehension about taking him to, taking our, him favorite. to our favorite, mm-hmm. but he, you know, overall he loved it. And so, but yeah, if you get a chance, check out his podcast and we were just on it. And I, you know, I listened to it when it came out last week, I felt like it turned out really good. Yeah. And we'll have all the links in the show notes too. So it's real easy for you to just kind of click right. Of course, yeah. we'll just, you know, have you click on our, ours. Our episode, so you can listen to that one first. <laughs> yeah, because I think I'm the first so one was bad. just him. Yeah, it was like just like intro. a little intro into yeah what what he was doing that was new. So and one more little tidbit about Denny Tornator and his restaurant. He's been on Restaurant Impossible with Chef Ir- Irvine. Yes, um, Robert Irvine. Robert Irvine. They're they're buddies now. Um, so it you know there's a lot of cool history behind that that restaurant. But he has some really cool guests that he is lining up for his show. Yeah. So we are honored to have been among those guests because some of the people that he sort of gave us a little ch- inside baseball chat about, mm-hmm. there's going to be some big names on that show. So it's going to be really cool. That's a, that's very exciting. I'm excited to kind of just keep listening. Me and too. say. And when you listen to the show, you're going to notice you feel like you're sitting Right across from the table from Denny, like just having a conversation. And he's going to make you hungry. He's talking right to you and he's going to make you hungry. He's going to make you hungry. The <laughs> and way he's he going to des- make you want wine. <laughs> the way he describes food and wine, you're like, I got to go eat. That is right. That <laughs> is right. Yeah. So that was exciting. And um, I'm sure we'll be joining him on the show again. I'm, you know, excited to maybe join him at some other restaurants. Maybe some we discover. Maybe North Carolina. Maybe up in North Carolina, we'll take him to one of our favorite runs up there. Uh, you know, we're up Crown. for that. Oh, I that'd know. be amazing. I am down. So, so yeah, we'll, um, well, my birthday week. Okay, so that was Sunday. Monday, I think, you know, we just worked and released a podcast. You got a gift every single morning. I did. I did get a little gift every single morning. So flowers and present from McKenzie and... Fun stuff, you yeah, know? For sure. Fun stuff. So I appreciated that very much. I didn't need a gift every day. It could have been a kiss or a hug every single day. So for those of you that are that turning too, the though. channel now because we're <laughs> sapping out, please don't. <laughs> please don't. But yeah, I kind of spoiled myself for the week too. I did things I don't normally do all the time. Yep. I had a massage. I and, love that you did that. You know, all local people here and we'll have all the links to their businesses below. But I had a massage by my massage therapist. Tiffany, which you had bought me a gift certificate for a long time ago. Just for that. because I've been to her many times and she's really good. She, I yeah. prefer, and she generally likes a massage that's relaxing. I like them to get in there and work out all those pains and aches. And well, I, you know, I want to be sweating. Well, not this time. This yeah. time I was in quite a bit of pain just because my hips have been giving me some issues. But um, so we did cupping this time and. Ooh, what's that? The cu- you know, I, people know what the cupping is, but it's <laughs> it's um it is a different experience. But I felt like you know pretty bruised and battered afterwards. Yeah. But my body was already bruised and battered, so yeah, that's know. when they put the cup on you and it like does yeah. a suction or whatever. Yeah. yeah, but she explained to me it like lifts the muscle kind of up so that your blood can flow. Very so nice. if there's blood flow, that's kind of like. Mm, stopped because of inflammation or something like that it can kind of move and oh, okay. not just sit there um in the same spot so i did that i got my hair done by uh bailey nicole beauty and um up at magnolia grace in leesburg and so i got some blue hair now i got some fun blue hair that I dyes my whole neck blue every it night did, but it did dyed her neck she was like a smurf yeah, for the first like a, day <laughs> it, it's like every time you take a shower when you dye your hair that vibrant blue color it's like a, a smurf got killed in the shower every yeah, that's exactly time. <laughs> that's yes. an old reference but yeah the smurfs the smurfs if you know you know 
If you know who the Smurfs are, then you know you grew up in our our age group here. Yep, that's okay. it. But my age is forty seven, and I don't care. I'll say it. Most ladies like to keep it to themselves, but I feel good. You know, good I mean, for you. Besides, you know, waking up a little sore in the morning, or whatever. You know, part of that kind of stuff is just part of life. I'm happy. I'm, you know, I wake up happy every morning. I go to bed happy at night. I, I have nothing to complain about. Good for you. Well, I, you life know, is good. This is what I tell younger people. That is the thing I notice getting older is, you know, you used to be sore from working out or riding the bike or running or what. Now we're sore from sleeping. <laughs> this so, is true. It's pretty awesome. Your body just kind of rests and then in the morning reminds you, oh, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> you it's going to hurt when you get up out of the bed. <laughs> but that's not all you did. You also did, you got your hair. I did get my uh, hair. Well, you just said your hair, yeah. but you also did the... Yesterday I got my nails. You got your hair, your nails. You went to breakfast. Where'd you get your nails done? I got my nails done at Studios by Angie. Very nice. And she's right down the road here as well, so... Another small local business well, that yeah. you're promoting. Yep. Yeah. so... Toes and nails done. Very so, nice. Mm. And you went to breakfast at a local place, one of our local favorites. Yep. So my youngest son took me to breakfast and we went to the Southern Deli. Yes, yes. Right here in Apopka. And it's a, a unique twist on Southern food, which I love. And I got that, uh, the the maple, uh, oh. the boozy bread. Oh, the boozy bread oh, is my so favorite good. thing there. The boozy bread was amazing, oh. and I had a nice little... They sell like a wine-based cocktails. Yes. Really good. If you don't know about that place, it's in the Wekiva River Walk, which is the intersection of 436 and Wekiva Springs Road. Mm-hmm. That shopping center in there. It's kind of in the corner in the back. You might not even know it's there, but it's the coolest kind of trendy place yeah, that so you cute. just you would never know is there. That like like Angie said, they have their own spin on like Southern food, but it is traditional Southern food, and it mm-hmm. is so insanely good. Plus, they got booze, or uh, I shouldn't say booze. They have it. it seems it's like, like a wine based. It's a wine based booze, but, but you it can tastes get, like spirits, like you a know mixed know drink. I mean? yeah, yeah, it does taste like a mis- mixed drink. Mine yeah. was like a Shirley Temple type drink. It was pretty good. That's a well, Shirley Temple is a non alcoholic drink, I think. Well, but it had the wine in it. Oh, so okay. it's like it has the t- flavors of like the Shirley Temple. Oh, I got you. Like Sprite and the cherry and some, Plus something Plus the else. booze. Nice. Whatever. Very it was nice. delicious. <laughs> it was a good breakfast. And I took a little puppy with me for that too. And and um, then that day I just spent preparing for the little par- little birthday party that we had here. And I, yeah. um, I decided to do a Pampered Chef party because I... I'm sure all the ladies or whoever knows what Pampered Chef is has been around forever. But I had something I wanted to buy anyway. So I'm like, oh, I might as well have some people over. Yeah. And, you know, my house, our house is little. And I'm like, yeah, maybe like four or five people will come. It'll be perfect. Yeah, we had like 12 people here plus me and you. Yeah, it was standing room only in it some places. It was standing room only. It was and cool. it was great. And then people brought me gifts, which was not expected, but very appreciated. And, you know, some nice bottles of wine and some unique little gifts and flowers and plants and candles. And, oh, I just uh, was very happy. Oh, and you look, happy she's tearing up. She, you guys can't see this, but she's tearing yeah, up right now. It was, it was, it was very nice. It my, was really nice. My yeah. youngest sister came all the way from Sarasota with her new baby and hung out. Um, during the day and the next day a little bit, and we got to go to Propagate Social House. On another Saturday. favorite, another local I'm place. I'm telling you, we is, were like, we were local, baby. We Propagate were real Social local House. This week. That's another one. That's a local coffee shop here in Apopka where they sell coffee, food, wine, and plants. It is the coolest little place. It's a and, must, and, and it's Joe pet friendly. Lynn, Joe Lynn was so excited because she's like, "This is my, this is my vibe. Yeah. This is my vibe right here." So. Yeah, it's so cool. And you can bring your dog if you come out. So, you know, there's an outside area too. Uh-huh. Uh, which yes, is nice. you can. They are very dog friendly, which we love. There's a lot of dog friendly places now. Now go back to your party for one minute. Mm. Angie had a tiramisu cheesecake mm. custom made from Tornadors. Now, look, I don't think they normally do that, so please don't call them and order this. But I think this was a favor. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Well, I am thinking they may be adding this to the uh, menu because it was amazing, and every single person here raved about it even if they don't like tiramisu or cheesecake they were like that was so good yeah it was a really cool combination and disclosure i'm still eating off of the cake <laughs> and i'm going to eat yep. it every single day until it's gone oh you have to you have to for and it that. was huge yeah 
was but awesome. uh, it felt like it weighed like 80 pounds when I picked it up when we first got it. It but, was a it was a pretty it was a bigger cheesecake than normal. Yeah. But yeah. you know, it, it was delicious. Shout out to um the pastry chef there at Tornators because he did an amazing, amazing job. And I also shopped at the Italian market for all the charcuterie stuff because we did like a charcuterie theme. You know me, you know, I love some charcuterie. It this is, thing was, it was a, ma- now I'm obviously exaggerating the 80 pound cheesecake. I make huge charcuterie boards. <laughs> this was, it, it was more than a shark charcuterie board. It was like three, three or four together. of them all connected with Jafu just kind of spilling them from one to the other. So good. If and, there's anybody out there that makes custom charcuterie boards, I want a huge charcuterie board i want it to be really long with a little lip on it so stuff don't fall off the ends yeah like it but i need like a huge like because i i'm all about presentation you know i just want to i had like dragon fruit cut up in there and persimmons and just you know pomegranate i just want it to look beautiful like yeah who cares if you spend $30 on the fruits that nobody's going to eat just to decorate it? Whatever. The presentation is everything. But people did eat it. That's it was the almost thing. all gone. Yeah. Yeah. But Actually, those... I mean, let's do full disclosure. We're probably going to eat off the rest of that for the rest of the week, too. <laughs> that's right. So, we, that's right. We love having like little charcuterie for lunches and stuff. It's a it's a great little meal. Re- it feels like you're getting to kind of snack and, and stuff, but you're actually eating good food still. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really cool. And um, we've been selling a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Well, so we just talked about how you bought something new for the studio, but we are kind of downsizing. Yeah. We're pretty much cleaning house. If any of you follow me on Facebook, you see I keep posting stuff. Hey, is anybody here? Here. We're just trying to sell some stuff. Right. Whatever. At one point, I'm going to be like, it's got to go. But you know what? Along the lines of that, we did buy something for the for the or I did buy something for the podcast room, but you've been clearing out some of the other rooms, like you just said. Mm-hmm. And this device actually takes up less space than all the other doodads that we needed before. And yeah. we're going to be very soon killing the studio and selling the yeah. chairs and selling the mic stands so and selling some other stuff. Anybody's starting a podcast, this might be the time. It's a very cool little living room setup. We are going to keep the mics and of course the mixer and we're still going to do the show, you know, it'll be a little more mobile for a while until mm-hmm. we get settled in at our new place. Yeah. But uh yeah, so we'll we'll update that. Of course, I post everything everywhere, but Angie's not kidding. If you're interested in starting a podcast, if you've watched our podcast uh on YouTube, which is, by the way, our new YouTube handle is at Fine and Danji. It's a new thing that YouTube has just rolled oh, out. But you could awesome. go check it out and you kind of see what we have. But yeah, we're going to be unloading all that stuff. But anyway, yeah. we're, I guess the bigger point is we're just starting to empty house now. We are because we are prepping. So we are going to be airbnb our house. We are going to gear it towards families that are interested in, you know, the attractions down here in Florida and also the natural beauty that we have. Yeah. So, you know, just to let everybody know, if you have family and friends coming down, we have a cute little house and it's going to be very cozy and comfy, real close to all the attractions, but even more important to me, closer to the natural springs and, you know, that kind of natural beauty that we have right here in central Florida. It's a really good spot, like right in between. I think you nailed it when you said it's like the hub or the center or whatever, because it it really is a quick trip to Universal, quick trip to Disney, quick trip to SeaWorld, quick trip to kayaking. So you get the best of all worlds there. Yeah. And we are trying to come up with a cute little name. I I like like the hub. I think that is a, a cute little, everybody kind of names their Airbnb's cute little rustic retreat or something like that. And yeah. I'm like, what are we going to do with ours? So so we're doing a contest. And if you properly name, if you come up with a name for our Airbnb, you win an announcement on one of our shows that you named You're our the Airbnb. the winner. <laughs> there you go. No, we actually are going to start a little Facebook page for the Airbnb yep. and start putting some content on that soon to... You know, to just kind of get people involved in the process of what it takes to put your own home together for an Airbnb. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a lot of stuff you have to do. It's a neat process. I think it would be fun to document that process yeah. and do some videos of it as well. So yeah, yeah, so that's our journey, guys. And, you know, as you guys have heard us say, we are, our next um, big step is moving out of this home to Airbnb it and then... Hopefully by the end of next year, we will be moving to North Carolina. That is the plan. for some time. Yep. And then finding our, our what we want to do, either build or buy a home up there. 
Yeah, and it's yeah. you know we won't get any interest rates and everything. We might we might right away we might rent for you know very short amount of time. Just depends on where things are at at the time. Yeah, but yeah we're very excited. We're going to keep doing the show. We're going to keep coming down here at least twice a year. Mm-hmm. We're still going to meet with local people here. We're going to meet with local people there. So we are not yeah. changing our audience. We are, as Steve Altier said, we are growing, growing our, our audience. audience. So that is right. And also the other thing is, so many people from Florida vacation in North Carolina, vice versa. Yeah, this is such a great, um, you know, a great show, a platform to look at to go, what do I want to do yeah. local when I'm in Florida, if you're in this area? And same as it's going to be for when we're in North Carolina. So it's going to be fun. It is going to be gonna fun. We're going to nerd excited. out too. We're going to talk more about it here and there, but we're going to do, it's a smart home already. We're going to do QR codes. We're going to have YouTube channel. It'll be really neat. But a couple quick things before we wrap up. Um, it, we, I think Angie, you did mention that Chloe Barber from the Southern Wiener Dog Designs yep. is coming up. We interviewed her recently. We also interviewed Coco Sweet Treats recently. So that's, that's right. going to be another great episode coming up. Mm-hmm. We've got more great guests coming up. It's so exciting that we've got such a lineup. Yep. Um, and I, as I said, I'm taking off the second half of December to hopefully finish my third novel and to finally formally relaunch my youtube tech review channel and that takes a lot of time so yeah i'm gonna take a couple weeks off to do that that sounds fun and and we're busy doing events you know we're gonna be at um a couple events one for work more for for you for work um the other one i it's work but it's fun for us so it's all fun work really yeah yeah so on november 19th which is this upcoming weekend we're gonna be at the holiday market uh the whimsy Whimsy Market and Holiday Market. I was trying to figure out <laughs> how to say that. How to say that without it being repetitive. Whimsy Holiday Market Market. There we go. Anyway, we'll be there at the Fox Valley Farm and Hop Yard, and we'll be emceeing that as well as playing some holiday hits and just some fun music to get you in the shopping spirit because it's a Christmas shopping event. And if you are going to be in the area, please come out and say t- hi to us and check things out. You know, we love that. We love it when people come say hi as well. Yep. And it's from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So it's a, a pretty much the whole entire day. They'll have food trucks out there, a bunch of vendors to choose some unique gifts from. We'll be there. So come and see us. And just the great property there. It's free parking. So come and hang out and join us while we're there. Yes. And if you've ever been to a Whimsy Market event, please take the time to leave them a review about your experience because that really helps hmm. them. Do you know where they prefer their reviews by chance or is it anywhere? Um, I think it's anywhere. But if you just go to their Facebook page, which we'll have a, or no, not Facebook, their uh, website, we'll have a link there. And then the 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 website shows you everywhere to go. Where to so go if you to want review. To go social media, but, whatever. Yeah. But reviews, just like reviews for a podcast, yeah. you know, reviews for their market really do help them. Um, and then November 29th, we're going to be at their 26th. 26th, sorry. One of yep. us can't read. <laughs> well, you read it just upside down. <laughs> I did read it upside just, down. Just um, November 26th, bit. which is a Saturday, I believe. It is. Mm-hmm. They're going to be doing another event at the Umatilla. Well, it's called the Umatilla Holiday Market, but I believe that one is going to be located at Sensational Farms. That's right. Mm-hmm. Out there in Umatilla, across from that big playground that's out there. Yeah, it's a, a really cool piece of property. Park. Different yeah. than Fox Valley in that mm-hmm. it's kind of just a big, huge open space. Yeah, big, big open space. They have a like a large barn area that yeah. has food and local vendors in there as well. So really cool little is. place. Mm-hmm. And we will be there too, but we're going to be there with my business, uh, Flying Fox Shots, doing drone work. And because, you know, Fox Valley is a beautiful piece of property, but it's really hard to do drone work there because there's trees everywhere and everything's yeah. kind of under the trees. Here it's it's open, so we'll be able to get some really cool shots for them. But if you happen to come out to that event... Please look for us and say hi. We'll be wearing the orange and gray shirts and walking around flying drones for the day. Yep, we'll be wearing the drone shirts that day. Yeah, that'd be cool. And I will be your, what am I called? Spotter. Am I a spotter or a handler? (laughs) I think it's called the visual observer. I should know this. visual observer. But yeah, you'll be the eyes on the drone, which I really do appreciate. Yeah, I got to to. Make sure no little kids run up and grab the drone or people aren't trying to talk to you when you're flying it. Yes, yes. We, we, We go by the book. I have a very responsible part in all of this. Yes, indeed you do. (laughs) 
That's it. That's that a wrap. A, that, That's a wrap this I, Sunday night. Well, how about that? That, was, uh, that went quick. It really did. Well, guys, thank you so much for each and every time you tune in. Dan and I are going to be doing these like every other week. We sit downs to kind of um, just recap what we've been doing in the community, what new businesses we've discovered, and letting you know who's going to be on the show and what we are up to. So tune in each and every week to find out what we're doing and where we'll be. Indeed. And we also want to remind you that we do have a Patreon. If you'd like to help support the show, you can do so by going to our Patreon channel. We have three levels of donations. We appreciate everyone that's been doing that so much. We'll put a link in the notes for that as well. And I think that's it. That's a wrap, guys. And please remember, at the each. At and the, please. It, I'm love starting it. over. I'm <laughs> starting over. And please remember, at the end of each and every day, it's, it's all, all fine and dangy. dangy.